The Roman Empire was an Iron Age federation of various peoples around the Mediterranean and Black Sea regions. In this video I will show you the autosomal DNA result, predicted phenotype traits and GT match results of one such Roman individual from Italy. First, let's start with the phenotype. He is predicted to have a snub-shaped nose, brown hair and brown eyes. Um, with hair ID, he's actually predicted to have curly or kinky hair, which is why I depicted him here with a very curly hair in the picture. And uh, he had all of the major variations that are implicated in white skin in Europeans, so he definitely had white skin. And according to Snipper Free, he had brown eyes, and according to Snipper Free, he also had brown hair. As you can see, Wysek depicted him blonde and gave him sunglasses instead of giving him an eye color prediction. That's because he wasn't genotyped for the main variant in BH2 that uh, is the most uh, weighted, the most heavy component, the, was the most heavy variant when it comes to eye and hair color prediction with Wysek. But uh, he actually was genotyped for other variants in BH2 and my tools, my Nashakot and Snipper Free to some extent is also able to impute a genotype. So with this data we have on this individual we know that he had brown eyes, right? But Wysek cannot know that because Wysek does not have the ability to impute genotype. When it comes to DRD2's Pro319 Pro variation, he had the no-go learner mutation, so the European no-go learner mutation that significantly decreases the risk of schizophrenia. And he had A2A2 genotype in TAC1 vari variation and also in DRD2, which is a typical result for uh, pretty much every human, and it's very different from what you would see gorillas, chimpanzees, orangutans, various monkeys score. And he had the warrior with the IE mutation in COMT, which basically is a uniquely European mutation that increases the amount of dopamine you have uh, in your brain. And he also had the lack of empathy. He has, he's got the sociopath gene. He's got derived OXTR, which is what I call the sociopath gene on this channel. He did not have derived East Asian EDAR, so no East Asian facial traits, such as shovel-shaped incisors or epicanthic folds. Uh, when it comes to lactose persistence, he actually did have uh, the European mutation for lactose persistence in one variation, but not in the other, which is kind of interesting. So he was probably lactose persistent, if I had to guess. And um, he did not have the European mutation that protects against myopia. Moving on to polygenic traits, he had a high risk score for coronary heart disease, a super high risk score for bipolar disorder. Uh, he had a super high risk score for brain aneurysm. He had a pretty average risk score for Parkinson's. Uh, he had a pretty below average low risk score for schizophrenia. Uh, he had a super high risk score for asthma. And finally, he had a pretty below average risk score for type 2 diabetes. This is what he scores with Eurogenes K13. And my impression of this result is that it's actually not such a typical result for a modern Italian. He's scoring way too much East Mediterranean, way too little Northern European components, uh, way too much Eastern kind of Mediterranean and Red Sea related stuff. And with the Oracle here, you can see that he's closest to South Italians and Sephardic Jews rather than like Central Italians from Rome or from North Italy. Uh, he's actually getting modeled as a mixture of Cypriot plus Italian from Abruzzo, and uh, Abruzzo is in the south of Italy as well. This is what he scores with MDLPK11. Once again, too much Eastern Mediterranean related stuff such as basil and Neolithic. I don't even think that Iranian Neolithic is a component that you would see in modern Italians at all. Uh, with the Oracle here, he's basically getting modeled as a mixture of Iran Chalcolithic plus Central European farmer, and with Harappa World, once again, a very exotic result, not very typical for like modern Italians. This, this is a very Mediterranean, but not a Northern Italian, certainly not a Northern Italian result. And he's closest to all kinds of Jews, which is kind of interesting. Uh, he's actually getting modeled as a mixture of Cypriot plus Spaniard here, or Cypriot plus French. So relative to the Cypriots, a little bit more Western European. Just, uh, you know, based on the oracles here, 30% CHG, that's a crazy amount of CHG for any Italian today. I'm guessing that this person came to Italy from uh, Greece or Cyprus, right? I think he came over to Italy from Greece or Cyprus just to find a job or live better. I'm not sure why he came there, but this is not a native Italian. I don't think this looks like a native Italian. This is his result with Ancient Eurasia K6. Now, it's a very exotic result, and I don't think this individual, if he took a 23 and me, would receive any Italian. I think his result would just be Ashkenazi Jewish or Greek or some kind of West Asian group. And you can see he's closest to Ashkenazi Jews here. He's actually getting modeled as a mixture of Ashkenazi Jews plus Turks or Azeri or 
Georgians, so not a typical Italian whatsoever. And but what's interesting is with Gedrosi AK3, he's mostly West Eurasian. He's 93.8% West Eurasian, so it's a very modern individual. And it's an Iron Age, which is kind of a modern... In Iron Age, the people were already like us. They were already modern people. As you go further back in time, though, you would see people score less and less West Eurasian. Even if they are ancestral to West Eurasians, they're going to score more Sub-Saharan and East Eurasian with this calculator, just because they lived before the modern West Eurasian drift that this calculator looks for existed. G25 coordinates were not available for this sample, so I had to simulate them myself from raw data file, but here is who he's closest to with G25. It's all kinds of Greeks. Uh, Dodecanis is, I think, islands. It's got to be the islands, right? Because it's, it's the most south, the most southern shifted Greeks that this person is closest to. Thank you guys for watching until the end. You can uh, download this sample in 23andMe format from link, which is in the description. And uh, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy what I do here on YouTube.